हाय दिस इज गोइंग टू बी अ वेरी शॉर्ट वीडियो ये बहुत एक छोटी वीडियो है जिसमें मैं टाटा पावर की कुछ ट्वीट्स किया था और मुझे दो जन तीन जन मैसेज किए कि हमें क्यों ऐड करने का मौका नहीं मिला सो दिस वीडियो इज ऑल अबाउट हाउ यू कैन डू दिस योर सेल्फ एंड यू डोंट हैव टू डिपेंड ऑन मी सो ऑफकोर्स आई ट्वीटेड इन द मॉर्निंग आज मॉर्निंग में मैं मार्केट वॉच जब बनाया था राउंड अबाउट टेन फिफ्टीन एंड अगेन ऑन टू थर्टी फिर मैंने टाटा पावर का मेरा क्या पोजीशन है क्या लेवल्स हैं ये मैं ऑलरेडी डिस्कस कर चुका हूँ सो आई टू का पोजीशन एट 120 में लिया था उसको मैं 125.2 में क्लोज किया और फिर मैं 126 में ऐड किया और 127.5 में ऐड क्लोज किया सो दीज वर द टू ट्रेड्स व्हिच वे टेक इन सिंस मॉर्निंग और लास्ट हाफ एन आवर में बहुत सारे मूवमेंट्स आई एंड टाटा पावर स्टार्टेड करेक्टिंग सो दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन कि मैं जो ट्रेड किया सो यू कैन सी मैं बोला कि ट्वेल्व वन में आई एम एडिंग और ये एकदम तभी मैं ऐड किया तभी ट्वीट किया एंड अगेन आई सेड 127 हो गया है एंड दिस इज वेर आई बुक्ड प्रॉफिट एंड देन दिस वॉज जस्ट बिफोर क्लोजिंग एक मिनट पहले आई एडेड टाटा पावर एट वन सो इस वीडियो में आई विल टेल यू द रैशनल कि ये ट्वीट्स जो मैं करता हूँ बहुत जन पूछते हैं मैं ऐड करूँ कि नहीं फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल प्लीज कंसल्ट योर फाइनेंशियल एडवाइजर फॉर एनी ऑफ सच क्वेरी इवन इफ यू आस्क मी दीज क्वेश्चन मैं आई एम इन नॉट राइट पोजिशन टू कमेंट विदाउट नोइंग योर फाइनेंशियल सो प्लीज डोंट डू दैट मैं दिस ट्विटर इज माई जर्नल आई नेवर गिव एनी टिप्स और ट्रेड्स आई जस्ट राइट डाउन वट एवर ट्रेड्स आई एम टेकिंग जस्ट लाइक स्टाटा स्टील में मैं अपना ट्रेड लिया मैं उसको किस तरह से किया सो आई जस्ट राइट अ जर्नल फॉर माई सेल्फ सो यू कैन हैव अ लुक एट मार्केट वॉच और आफ्टर आवर्स मैं जनरली आई डिस्कस फ्यू ऑफ द कंपनीज विच वुड बी इन माई रेडा फॉर शॉर्ट टर्म सो यू कैन हैव दो यू कैन लुक इन टू दोज वीडियोज स्टडी द चार्ट मेक द पिक एंड देन यू नो ट्रेड सो please don't expect me to be uh, hand guiding you and this is first of all i am not uh, the right person who should be doing that for you and eventually if you are trying to copy a trade from someone uh, without understanding you would definitely end up in losses so the whole purpose of this video is me sirf uh, uh, tata power ka ye jo uh, tricks ye jo chote chote jo trades aap le sakte ho main isi ke bare mein bolna chahta hu first of all uh, tata power uh, 120 se 128 से थोड़ा कम 127.9 तक गई सो दैट वाज अ गुड मूव फर्स्ट दिस इज द फर्स्ट थिंग सेकंड इज इवन विथ मार्केट टैंकिंग और लास्ट हाफ एन आवर 45 मिनट्स में जो सेल ऑफ आई स्टिल टाटा पावर वाज एबल टू मेंटेन ऑल द गेन्स सिंस मॉर्निंग दिस शोकेसेस दैट देयर इज अ लॉट ऑफ स्ट्रेंथ इन दिस पर्टिकुलर स्क्रिप्ट इन दिस पर्टिकुलर स्टॉक सो गोइंग फॉरवर्ड ये शायद एक अच्छी रिटर्न दे सकती है सो राइट सो वंस आई नो दिस सो मेरा ये जो लास्ट ट्वीट था दिस वॉज लाइक ओके आई वॉन्ट टू एड राइट अभी पोजिशन है कि वन ट्वेंटी फाइव कहाँ पे एड करूँ और शुड आई एड ऑन नॉट राइट सो दीज आर सम ऑफ द क्वेश्चन यू हैव टू आस्क योर सेल्फ इफ यू आर ट्राइंग टू टेक सम बी टी एस टी ये वीडियो में मैं थोड़ा सा चार्ट एनालिसिस करके बताऊंगा कि क्यों मैं वन ट्वेंटी सिक्स डॉट टू फाइव में एड किया और क्यों मैं वन ट्वेंटी सेवन में बुक किया और फिर मैंने इसको क्यों वन ट्वेंटी फाइव डॉट सिक्स में एड किया राइट सो लेट्स डू अ स्मॉल एनालिसिस सो so, यहाँ पे मैंने क्या किया है दिस इज अ वन मिनट चार्ट जस्ट टू शो केस वेरी माइन्यूट ग्रैनुलरिटी एंट्री एंड एग्जिट शुड ऑलवेज बी डन ऑन अ वन मिनट चार्ट नो मैटर वेदर यू वैलिडेट अ पैटर्न और ऑन अ यू शुड ऑलवेज वैलिडेट अ पैटर्न यू शुड ऑलवेज वैलिडेट द मूव ऑन अ लॉन्गर फ्रेम चार्ट वन आवर फोर आवर वन डे वन मंथ वन वीक बट वेन यू आर एंट्रिंग एंड एग्जिटिंग अ ट्रेड यू शुड ऑलवेज लुक इन टू हाउ द देर आर टू फैक्टर्स आपको देखनी है जो मैं देखता हूँ फर्स्ट है कि ऑप्शन लेवल राइट अगर आप इसके टाटा पावर के ऑप्शन लेवल्स पे जाओगे सो वन ट्वेंटी फाइव वन ट्वेंटी सेवन डॉट फाइव इस तरह से इसके लेवल्स हैं सो ऑब्वियसली दोज आर वेरी बिग साइकोलॉजिकल लेवल्स एंड सेकेंड ऑफ ऑल देर इज अ लॉट ऑफ मनी इन्वॉल्व वेन एवर सच अ ब्रेकआउट हैपन्स एंड यू नो वेन सच अ ब्रेक डाउन हैपन्स एज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ विच ये लेवल्स आर वेरी इम्पॉर्टेंट right just just for example right tata power is now trading at 126 125 uh, but going forward uh, 130 is also a rounding uh, you know is 130 is a nice round number and that uh, similarly 120 is a round number so you know a lot of movements happen around uh, these numbers and so uh, these are some of the levels you have to consider so uh, let me dive uh, into right into the video so what i have done is uh, i have uh drawn uh, see uh, when the tata uh, power move came uh, say around about uh, 215 220 ish 
uh, eventually there was a very good nice up move and then it started consolidating over in this region right so when uh, it was trying to break down and this is also a 125 level which is a psychological level right and hence my trade which was uh, which i was carrying from a 120 from today's morning 120 121 i booked at 125 level because i knew this is going to be the case that uh, you know it will try to validate and spend a lot of time over here and uh, that's exactly uh, what happened so support and then it started moving north right so here I again entered at 126 as I tweeted and here you can see this is exactly the 126.2 level and uh, this is uh, uh, so this is actually a uh, nice consolidation for four five minutes and then it again break, uh, broke this level. So of course uh, whenever this was act so for these four five six candles it was acting like a resistance and this was giving a support so now this is the support and this is the resistance. The resistance got broken now once the resistance gets broken is now the support right and now eventually i booked out at 127.5 because that's another option level as i mentioned so and then it went towards 127.9 so of course i will be again waiting and this was also towards uh, three o'clock uh, so basically what happens is around about three o'clock a lot of positions have to be squared up because of margin so a lot of volatility comes in the very last hour right so this is also one of the trades uh, uh, reason why i closed this at 127.5 i got a one and a half rupees move here which is perfectly fine for me because it's one percent for this uh, script uh, then eventually it went for uh, this consolidation and it was trying to break after a very nice tight consolidation right and then it broke this level so when it broke this level i knew that okay this is the next support and since the script has already gave a very good move so theoretically the, it should try to get a support over here and this exact support came around about uh, 302 303 and this was the time when i tweeted so basically now this is acting like a support right even and when you are uh, when this is uh, acting like a support of course you can place your stop loss at 125 if you want to exit say the position so of course i took this trade at 126.2.5 uh, uh, here and then you can see that by that time it had already formed a very good channel because you are adding these points so basically you know uh, that this region of 127 is going to act like a uh, interim resistance now many a times these resistance uh, get broken so it's absolutely not a problem but here you have to understand we were at a 305 so uh, the question which i ha uh, had in my mind that do i want to carry this position uh, at 126.25 levels for the next day right and there was some 20 minutes left so i so you can see that it actually uh, tested this particular falling channel right because i had this point and i had this point so of course if i draw a line uh, the, the resistance is here so it came towards resistance and i booked out at 127 and then you see it f f fell and then again it was trying to take a support over here right so of course uh, this is done a trade for me and now since i have this one and then it started falling it went towards 125.5 Many a people wanted, uh, expected that I would be taking a position over here, but that's absolutely not what I wanted. I wanted it to correct more, just like a Tata Steel. Uh, I will post uh, the Tata Steel video of uh, how and why I traded, and uh, so it will be a future video which I will post uh, today in the evening. If you are interested to learn uh, more of these uh, trading strategies, then you can have a look. So now I'm looking at a one minute uh, time frame and the reason is I want to carry a BTST but what would be the best region? Uh, so of course you can understand uh, why this particular sentiment was working in favor. So let me uh, do a one thing. So here you can see it, it went towards 127 and then it cracked and it broke down and it tried to take a support. It tried to move. Uh, obviously, if 126.2, this level, if this would have been uh, taken out, then I would have added, right? But it didn't even reach here and then it corrected more and it went towards 125.1. It uh, spent a lot of time correcting over here and then it went. Actually, this uh, uh, drawing is a little bit, just give me a moment. 
Okay. Just a moment. Yeah, so let me do a cleanup. Yeah. So now let's draw a thing of why I took that position. You see this. So this is the region reason for why i took the position at uh, the closing uh, very closing bell because i just uh, uh, had a very good idea that uh, this is going to uh, go uh, not going to break 125 so this is good the worst thing which a trader and normally a lot of retailers uh, do is this trying to take this but there is no guarantee that this will not break 125 because it has corrected a lot from the top nifty was tanking so you should never try to enter in here but rather you have a channel like this just try to see what happens near this channel and this is exactly if you see this particular level it was this 125.3 uh, or 4 uh, where i had my uh, position and during the last volatility is, is the resolution ye jo candle dikha raha hai ye thoda sa resolution upar niche hua hai last uh, second mein aur isliye mera wo carry over trade ho gaya now going forward what would be my uh, uh, position see i see this as a very interesting 123.5 uh, this is one of the interesting levels for me jahan pe main aur add karunga aur agar ye kal gap up se khole especially uh, if uh, above 128 so I can actually uh, see a very good up move because this is what I expect from this particular stock. Mm, but uh, we will see and one of the things uh, which is interesting is also there was a volume participation. So uh, what I can do is look for a 15 minute chart. Yeah, exactly. So you see that uh, there was a nice uh, dip uh, yesterday and then today it went uh, and got a very good as I say don't add uh, when it tries dipping but rather add when it comes up. So this was very interesting that uh, there was a big red 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 and then uh, suddenly from uh, 1030 it reversed from 120 and then it went for a very tight narrow consolidation between 122 because again 122.5 is a psychological level and then it went towards 124 and then it corrected uh, but the thing is he, this all of this was happening before two o'clock so i had one and a half hour left and this is the reason why i was uh, carrying this position also you can see uh, there was a lot of resistance in this area earlier but it was able to break this resistance in one go and now it's uh, trying to retest this level so I think going forward at least in a very short term depending upon tomorrow how it opens up it will give a very good uh, move for me hopefully and even if it doesn't then uh, I will uh, I'm always ready uh, to you know buy in dips and uh, we will see because uh, these are all speculations so I hope this video uh, uh, gave you a very good impression of why I take trades and why I enter and why I exit so in future i would expect that you also learn this technique so drawing this line was all if, even if you forget anything after this what happened of course it was not there right so it was very simple if you see so you see i was here right so what is the information which i uh, had at that point of time so i already knew this was a resistance uh, which is now acting like a support which is 126.2 this is another support which is 125.5 and this is a resistance it went and then it corrected because right now I am here and the next support which I have is this one which is 127 so now this is very basic right you have a support uh, support got broken now this is the resistance now this is, was the uh, support and now it took a support here and then it went to the next resistance and a profit booking came uh, okay then it broke this uh, particular support and then it actually went for the next support at 125 region it still broke the support so you see uh, why uh, i didn't tweet in during this time because it doesn't make sense it has already broken a support it was only that a breakout like this came in the very uh, last minute is that i was able to take a position and here you can see this uh, level is basically 125.3 or 125.35 something like this right so i hope this uh, video was helpful and on the top of that uh, you can always uh, draw this trend line to understand this was also one of the trades i took in asian pains today because it was f see this one right 
I am just going to show this uh, two points, two three points. Here it came and there was some. So for me, this is now a trend line. Now what you have to do is, even if the chart is not complete, just to be normal and follow it, right? And here you see. So this is how you can trade. Uh, you can find whether this uh, breakdown happens. For moves like this, you don't, you can't have a channel because the channel will be a straight line. And the only way you can uh, trade is basically trying to monitor, say, this level. Uh, which was a previous uh, 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 resistance, the 124 level, and then it actually went and tested the previous support level, which was created since morning, and then it broke this. So this is also one of a good uh, region where you can add uh, for, to take part in the moves like this. Hmm. And yeah, that's it. So hope this video was helpful, and in future you won't have to uh, ask me when you want to add a position. So the only thing you have to uh, understand is there are so uh, just uh, as a roundup, three four things that you have to understand. First of all, hai, you have to be in a stock for BTST. As a stock, you have to have a stock in which a lot of good moves have come. There is no guarantee, and these are all speculations. Tomorrow, Tata Power may start with 120 or even 110, right? So you have to know the risks and rewards, and you have to know the financials uh, involved. Second thing is you have to always respect the option um, levels. सो आप किसी भी स्क्रिप्ट अगर वो एफ का है तो उसमें आप ऑप्शंस लेवल को देख के आप समझ जाओगे कि कहाँ पे क्या रेजिस्टेंस और कहाँ पे क्या सपोर्ट है मतलब कौन सी लेवल्स में जाके ये कुछ हरकत या इट कैन डू सम मूव्स एंड ट्राई एंड दैट लेवल वुड बी वेरी हार्ड फॉर इट टू क्रॉस सो दिस दर्ड थिंग एंड थर्ड थिंग इज वेन एवर आई एम ट्राइंग टू डू एन एंट्री आई ऑलवेज वैलिडेट द पैटर्न ऑन अ वेरी हायर टाइम फ्रेम से मंथली एंड दिस दिस एनालिसिस आई हैव ऑलरेडी डन I'm not going to go into it. So I knew that okay, it's going good. So I needed a very fine, a detailed entry, and this is uh, where I got it. Tomorrow, going forward, it can easily break 125 level, right? Uh, but uh, given the way it has acted uh, uh, towards the closing, I th I would be very. It would anything can happen, but at least I would see if it is able to maintain a uh, 122 levels. Uh, and if it starts falling, then uh, one of the things I will be uh, doing is. Uh, this uh, 127.5 is now uh, acting like a huge support, uh, right? Because it had a good move and then it corrected. So, कल अगर ये गिरता रहा और लेवल्स ऐसे जैसे मैं अभी दिखाया, if they start breaking, so I think 125 and 127.5 इन दोनों का ऑप्शंस में ब्लाइंडली कॉल बेच के, I will try to hedge myself. Because even if it falls to say 120 and tries to uh, spend some consolidating over there. Or uh, so I would be still making money if uh, I want to, you know, uh, make sure that my BTST uh, doesn't get uh, hurt and is hedged. Because right now I am at 126. Uh, uh, see, with every uh, uh, brokerage and everything, few pesa and few, so it's it's a small thing for me. Uh, but no matter what, I can if I am able to sell uh, 127.5 or 130 is definitely a big psychological level. For it to cross in one go, and the best thing is if it is able to cross this 120, uh, 130 in a uh, in a one go, just like it crossed 125 today, then it will the target will shift towards 120, 132 .5. 5. But no matter what, I am not here to discuss the future targets. I see in uh, uh, Tata Motors, uh, sorry, in uh, Tata Power. Uh, but uh, we will see, right? So I hope this video was uh, entertaining and learning. You were able to learn something the way I trade and the way I give the levels and the way I enter and exit. And hopefully, you can practice it on your own and see if uh, this logic works for you. Thanks a lot for listening. Ta ta.